Yo, what's up, showboy fail here. Uh, welcome back to a Crusaders Quest. Today we are gonna do some pulls for the two new limited time heroes. And if we get them, we'll do some showcase. And the first one is actually a white horse. So I think our luck has been redeemed for 2023. And it is a male and a wizard, so it is obviously another one. Go Dion. So it's Vivian's dad, I think. My friend was saying that it is, uh, yeah, could be Vivian's dad, the king, the demon king. We get Royal Gardener Chelsea, Chelsea, for the second one, and the third horse is a brown again. And it is Night nope. Security Guard. Okay. Okay, and a brown one. It's alright. Still get heaps of gems, so no worries. Emilia, the Cobalt Knight says back. Oh, it's lagging. <gasps> okay, yes, thank you, Bridget. So when you get the heart from Bridget, she just kicks it and gives us a good one. Yes! Give us that limited time. Oh, is it? Oh, yes, Paladin female, of course. There's only one. Evgenia? Evgenia? I don't know how to say her name. Evgenia. Oh. So yeah, we actually very lucky and get both of them. And of course, by the power of editing, I did level them up and given them uh, sigils and skills and maxed them out to uh, yeah, I 40. So we'll have a quick look at the uh, training tips, see what everyone's running. So obviously damage reduction for Evgenia because she is a tank. And we don't have these um, <laughs> sigils, these are the new sigils. But you can just use the lower level ones for damage reduction and more HP. And these are the heroes that they're using. So they're using, oh, okay, Dog Paul Choi. It's probably for CC. And the Demon King. Okay, interesting. And yeah, obviously I've given her two damage reductions and attack power and more HP. And yeah, if I get that stronger ones i'll replace it i've just given her a lifestyle ring that's pretty much it and of course the shield of invincibility for more um defense so really really good but yeah let's have a look at her um illustration real quick so i really like that armor really nice armor i reckon yeah too but it's only the top half what would have been called if you're gonna see the bottom bit but yeah anyways looks cool and her weapon looks cool too so yeah unfortunate but anyways we shall have a look at her block skill and um passive skills so commanding wind so Evgenia raises her shield and charges forward for three four or five seconds enemy units who make contact with the shield takes physical damage equals to 250 percent of the hero's attack power every 0.2 seconds the hero is immune to push of, uh, effect during her charge and the duration of the skill is refreshed upon repeated use so she just yeah charges forward and yeah does damage along the way really cool and for her passive stout will it's a support type so only one chain which is you know really good when a commanding wind strikes enemy with enemy units three times the hero's maximum hp is increased by 150 percent for five seconds duration is refreshed on repeated use oh wow 150 percent that's that's really that's really high that's really high when stout will is activated all allies gain a shield equals to 30 percent of Ev evgenia's evgenia's hp for 10 seconds so she does provide a shield for us which is really really good and it cannot be dispelled it does have a cooldown of 10 up two seconds but it goes on for 10 seconds so not much of an issue when commanding wind strikes enemy units five times the hero cast elven might on the ally leader excluding herself obviously and tempest domain at the location of an enemy target with the highest maximum hp cooldown for three seconds so for elven might for five seconds armor penetration is increased by 1250 whenever the ally leader uses a one chain block skill okay fx stacks up to four times and lasts for 10 seconds and it's ref refreshed when you use it wow that's really good and for the tempest domain a blade that deals physical damage equals to three thousand percent wow 
Our various attack power is dropped from the sky. Target's location every second for 3 seconds. Enemy unit within range takes 50% more additional damage from all sources. So that's actually a really good buff too. So we just pretty much do more damage when she does that. So yeah, really good. And her crit chance is very low. And she doesn't have that skill where she takes all the damage from uh, the enemies. But she does have the skill where she just yeah multiplies her HP. Like a huge 150%. That's, that's a lot. And of course we did get Gordian, the returned Demon King as well. So let's have a quick look at his um, training tips. So obviously for him he is a damage dealer, so crit damage, double crit damage, and more attack power. I don't have these two, obviously. I do have the fangs, so I've just been using the fangs for now. But yeah, once I get the, the next one, I'll definitely change it. And of course he's got Haruki on Haruki and Kaidi as well for the uh, the heroes that spare with them. So yeah, really good. Haruki and Kaidi, man, that's yeah, top top support. So yeah, I've given him double crit damage, obviously, because his crit chance is actually 53% straight up. So, you know, I like it when it's above 50, at least 50%. And double the attack power and just a lifesteal ring so that we can survive the uh, attacks. And of course, I've got the Spirit of Mana, my favorite skill for the uh, mages, the Shadow Clone Jutsu. So yeah, really good. But yeah, let's have a look at his um, illustration real quick, actually. So yes, yeah, he's actually like a young, young, really young. I thought he'd be an older king, but you're a really young king. I guess he can just change his form to whatever he wants, but you're yeah, really cool. Just chilling on his chair. Very, very nice. And alright, let's have a look at his uh, have a look at his block skill and passive. So the devil stone deal neutral damage equals to 1000, 1100 and 1200 of their attack power to the front most enemy so that's a lot and lord's pledge is the passive support type at the start of the battle the hero sits on his throne the hero's special skill is changed to lord's pledge lord's pledge the hero's damage is increased by 50 percent and critical chance by 30 percent for seven seconds all heroes with the same armor and resistance value also receive the effect of lord's pledge duration is refreshed on repeated use okay so you pretty much get yeah, more damage and more crit chance. 30%. That's actually quite a fair bit. And for his SBW, when an enemy target with the same armor and resistance value is hit by the hero's block skill, Lord Dilemma is activated. So Lord Dilemma deals neutral damage equals to 4,500% of the hero's attack power per hit to the enemy unit with the highest maximum HP. And when Lord's Pledge is dispelled, all allies' SP is increased by 100. That's 100%. Jeez. That's actually really good. So yeah, so it's pretty much pure um, neutral damage. So you just stack up pretty much yeah, attack power on him and he does have um, increased crit chance as well. So really, really good. And yeah, his crit chance is already 53. So yeah, really good to have a bit more. All right, let's have a look at them at the newest challenge mode. So I'm just using the King and of course the uh, tank as well, Gordian and Evgenia, and of course I got Kaidi there as the uh, sub damage dealer, but let's look at her damage though, she's actually doing more damage <laughs> than the king, so Kaidi is actually doing more damage, which is insane, like 163 million and the king is only done 117 million, but obviously he's gonna catch up in no time. And yeah, we're up to the gate already. And kindness is going down fast, man. That, that neutral damage is so strong. So, so strong. Look at that. So that's what? 20, 30 seconds. And we are up to Rolando and he just gets melted. And there we go. So just, yeah, the king overtook the uh, damage to 298 million. But Kaide still did 273 million as well, so yeah, 37 seconds for that one. Really fast. Really, really fast. Now these are all maxed um, yeah, inheritance. And for the second one, Stern Garden, I've replaced um, Kaide with Haruki for a bit more attack power. Because I built him for just purely attack power. So and I've still got the uh, yeah, tank Evgenia. So yeah, really good. 
But yeah, if you have a look at her um, HP just goes up and down, up and down. Like just ridiculous amount. She goes uh, she sure goes to yeah, up to like seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand um HP, which is ridiculous man. It's like really high. And we are up to Steel Knight Joanna Bark. She's trying to hold off. Ooh! Almost died there. But it's alright, we got her. But yeah, her HP is just crazy, man. And up to the very last one. I'm gonna burst them down. Okay. Leon got a Haruki. <laughs> it's alright, I just had to sacrifice Haruki just to get him. So Gordian did 541 million by himself for that one. Because he is the main DPS. But yeah, still pretty fast. 41 seconds for that one. And for the very last one, I had to give him uh Jeronica. And of course Haruki is still there for more attack power. But yeah, um Event Evgenia, whatever his name is, the um support chick. Her shield's just yeah, it's just not enough for the amount of damage that the um, this new challenge mode um yeah like yeah it's just it's just not enough defense in her side like Jernica's shield is still like top so if you guys got Jernica yeah it's a little bit more better than um the other tank but yeah we're actually smashing these guys look at that Emperor Alexander just got melted so 30 seconds 433 million and we are up to the very last boss and we've still got the champion skill as well so yeah real fast there we go actually pushed us back a little bit there so they'll delay the damage but it don't really matter there you go 632 million so yeah just got melted easy win So yeah, that's the power of Gordian, the returned Demon King. So yeah, if you guys got him, definitely level him up. He's uh, yeah, really good. So it's pretty much uh, yeah designed to beat the uh, newest challenge mode with the uh, proper support. Easy peasy. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching captains hopefully you guys are having fun and of course he doesn't even have the uh, ring and um, necklaces as well if you guys notice because i yeah i didn't have any so you know it's just if you guys don't have any necklaces or rings it's okay but yeah thank you so much for your unyielding support as always and yeah hopefully you guys are hopefully you guys are having fun and good luck on your pulse if you guys are gonna go for um, both of them um, yeah, if you guys got the uh, Demon King, definitely level him up. And yeah, you can uh, clear the uh, newest challenge modes quite easily. So, yeah, that is it for now for that one. I'm just going to show you all the uh, extra stuff for um, the others, other heroes. And yeah, I finally put some uh, earrings and necklaces for Haruki because he was a little bit on the lower side. So I th just thought I'd uh, build him up a bit more, give him more, a little bit more power, you know, just, yeah. And yeah, thank you so much, guys. Welcome to all the branch subscribers. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And yeah, we have broken uh, 700 subs, so we shall keep, you know, going forward. So we're so close to a thousand. So, so close. But yeah, thank you so much guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, drift videos as well. Um, the uh, um, Honkai Star Rail. I'm still trying to get uh, Lucha. I didn't get him unfortunately. And um, yeah, I'll try and say a bit more before he goes away and try and get him. But we did get Bronya from the normal uh, tickets. So yeah, that was very lucky. But yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching Captains. And... Welcome to all the brand new subscribers, and if you haven't yet, subscribe for more um, CQ, and I am very close to uh, the next level up with this one as well. But yeah, we're really close. Alright, that is it for now. See you all next time. Stay safe and have fun. Bye-bye. Mm,